So the scope of this tutorial uh, actually doesn't cover um, setting up a FeedBurner account, but what I'm going to do is quickly show you how uh, to at least get started. And it's very simple actually. Uh, once you get to the FeedBurner page here, you're just going to copy and paste your blog URL into this spot, just like that. And then you're going to hit next. And what's this do? What is what this is doing is it's actually going to your blog and it's finding your RSS feed. And in this instance, it found the Atom feed and the RSS feed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the RSS feed, hit next. And on this next screen, you're actually going to name your feed title, change it to whatever you like, whatever your blog name is. And this gives you um, your feed address. And this is important because this is what you're going to copy and paste later on into your um, template that we were just uh, working on. So uh, I recommend changing this. It gives you a default to blogspot slash a bunch of gibberish. Um, I usually like calling it whatever the, the blog is that I'm working on. So in this instance, I'd call it Revolution uh, Church uh, Template. And then you're going to create a username and password and put in your email address. And once you do that, you hit Activate Feed, and you're ready to go. That Your account has been set up. You have a new feed. and uh, We'll go from there. Now, before we move forward, we actually want to copy this uh, part of the feed address because we're going to use this in the template. So, what I'm going to do is highlight it, right click, copy, and then I'm going to go back to the template. And where it says your feed name here is where we're actually going to highlight and right click paste. And what that does is it actually creates the correct URL in here to your RSS feed that you just set up. Pretty neat, huh? So you're going to want to do the same um, in a couple of other spots, but we'll come back to that in a second. Um, the other location that you want to change while we're here is your blog name here. And this, you just want to call it, you know, whatever your blog is, uh, which in this case, again, it's revolution church template. Okay, now that that's done, we need to get your feed ID, uh, which is going to be in two spots here on the template. And it's actually very easy to get. So let's go back to FeedBurner. And once you're logged in, if you go up and look at the URL, you have a unique ID at the end. And this is exactly what you need to copy. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, copy, and then go back to the template itself, and then you're going to select this area, your feed ID here, and you're going to replace it. So you see, now I have the correct feed ID there. And there's one other spot you need to do that in as well. So I'm going to do that while we're here. And paste. Voila, now we've completely set up the feed burner section Okay, and now the only thing left to do, actually, is within FeedBurner itself. Now that we've plugged in all the correct values, we need to tell FeedBurner that we want to activate the email subscription piece. So what we're going to do is go back into FeedBurner, and you want to click on the Publicize, and then the Email Subscription section. And once you click on that, you'll get a section here that says, do you wish to activate your email subscription? What you're going to do is go ahead and select Yes, Activate, and that basically turns on your email subscription. So that part of the template will now work. Uh, I also recommend going through the email subscription pieces and setting up some further options in here. You can actually brand the emails that go out. You can set up the communication and subscription management uh, preferences, which is uh, worth doing when you have some extra free time. OK, now that we've finished setting up the feed burner, functionality within the template. There's one other piece that you can actually configure uh, within the template code uh, that I'm going to quickly show you before we move forward into loading this template into uh, Blogger. So if you scroll all the way back up to the top of this template, you'll, sign, you'll see a line up here that says uh, link uh, right here. And what this is, is basically, if you go back to your browser, if you look up in the browser toolbar, you see this little R right here next to the URL. This is what you call a favicon or favorite icon. And what I was showing you in the code 
is actually how you can control what icon you want to show up there. Uh, this has to be a specific dimension uh, and size before you can use it. So just in the future, if you ever do want to change it and customize it yourself, this is the place to do it. Okay, so now the hard part's done and we're finished messing around with the actual source code. So what we're going to do is load this document into your blogger. So go back to your blogger administration uh, user interface. Come back to this page and you're going to browse and actually select the template that we've been modifying and open it there. And then you're going to click the upload button. Now what this is doing is it's going to replace your current template. So luckily we backed everything up before. So if there are any problems, it's easy to come back and just re-upload your old blogger template. So what we're going to do now is confirm and save. And it has been successfully saved. Hopefully up at, until this point you have not received any errors. Sometimes you'll get a blogger error here or something. Uh, there isn't a great way to really troubleshoot those um, because Blogger is very vague in the type of messages of errors that they display. So each case might be unique, but hopefully you will not see an error and you'll get your changes have been saved. Okay, so let's go back to your actual blog site and refresh the page. And if you put your mouse over this icon over here, you'll see in the bottom in the toolbar, um, you're actually pointing to your new uh, feed burner. And let's go back to the uh, template screen. So this is the end of part one. We'll be starting part two on how to configure the rest or actually start configuring your page elements and gadgets on the blog. And uh, it's probably a good time to go to the bathroom, grab a cup of coffee or soda, and uh, come back and uh, we can begin part two.